Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video you're going to watch me fish my second cats tournament down at LBJ. Now this is going to be my third time I think it is fishing a power plant lake. So I'm still new to it and I'm still trying to figure out how to catch these fish, the temperatures and everything. It's kind of got me a little bit, a little bit confused. So <clears throat> in this video uh, we woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and it was 60 degrees and that's the hottest that it got. We were expecting a cold front to come in a little bit later in the afternoon, but it ended up coming in a little bit early. So it kind of messed with some things, but I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you on the water. I started off my day hitting up the banks, but I wasn't having a lot of success there, so I decided to head out to the outlet. But on my way out to the outlet, I saw a nice rock pile and a nice shelf, so I decided to pull out my drop shot and give it a go. There we go. So I was pretty excited about this catch because I think it was right around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and I had already caught a fish, and I felt like I found a good spot, so I was going to stay out here and continue to grind it out, but I stayed there for about an hour and a half, and I didn't get a bite after that, so I decided to cut my losses and try to find something else that was going to be a little bit more successful. There you go, guys. My first one. What was he? Well, 15 incher. On my way out to the outlet, I saw this point right here. I figured I'd give it a shot. Try the drop shot on it. And see if I can pull it down. If there were any fish there, but. I didn't get a bite and it wasn't too much longer after this. As you can see right now, it's fairly calm. There's waves coming in because the boat just went by, but it's fairly calm. But about maybe five or 10 minutes after this, all of a sudden the cold front just came in super quick and it became extremely windy, extremely cold, and it was very, very difficult from that time on. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all the video of me doing nothing, but this is near the end of the day and I'm heading back. It's just windy, it's cold, and I'm just not having a fun time, I'm not doing well. Right now as I'm going, I'm looking down at my fish finder and I saw a rock pile right there to the right of me. So I was like, you know what, let me just cast this out and see what happens. as I did that, just a little bit afterwards, I got a bite, and I was pretty excited because I could tell that this one was a little bit bigger than the one that I had caught earlier. So this bass was 16 and 3 quarter. It gave me a little bit more hope and I was excited about it. So I decided to stick around in that area and continue to fish that little rock pile. Because of the wind, it was hard to hit that rock pile from where I was at. 
So I decided to hit it from a different angle, and right here, I'm pulling alongside of the rock pile with the Ned rig. Right here, I just got a fish, and all of a sudden right now I realize this thing is a little bit small. No need for a net. I was really hoping that this little guy would measure, but he would not go back. So after this, I I continued to go down that rock wall, continued to try to use that net rig, and with no success. Uh, I didn't get any more bites, and I ended up finishing the day with three, well, finished the day with two keepers. Caught three bass total, but that was it. As you guys can see, I didn't do too well. I was only able to catch three fish, but only two keepers. Uh, that third one, I really wanted to make work, but uh, it just wasn't working. So, as I was saying in the beginning, the cold front came in a little bit early and really messed with uh, how the fish were biting. Uh, a lot of people struggled, but then there were a lot of people that did really well. We had a buddy who said that he caught 30 bass that day. And I'm sitting here thinking, man, I'm struggling to get three. So, I, I don't know. Some people had the magic touch uh, that day. I did not. So, <clears throat> I really enjoy these cats tournaments. I enjoy hanging out with my friends. Uh, all of them are about four hours away. So, I have to drive down and spend the night. And we're all doing that. So, it's really fun hanging out with everybody. And I've been sleeping in my new van. You guys will see that in this next coming video. You can also check out VentureTube. Tony has on his video a little snippet of my van and me sleeping in that. So it's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching this video. And please like and subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, it's helping me out with uh, YouTube's new things that they're going on. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. And until next time, see you back on the water.